Hey everyone, I uh, hope everyone is doing well. So uh, today I'll be creating another video on Uber uh, interview round. So if you're new to the channel, I'll talk about two things. So I've been running this series where I'm sharing the interview experiences. So I, so far I've uploaded two videos, Flipkart and Walmart from both of these. I had received the offers a uh, little bit about me. Uh, because I get this question a lot on my channel uh, earlier. I had not revealed that, but I think there is a need to kind of tell this to establish credibility of the channel, right? So uh, welcome to DSA and design. So that's what my channel generally talks about and general motivation around uh, that whether one should always believe in themselves, right? doesn't matter which life stage they are at. So currently I am working at Microsoft and little bit more about me. So I have 2000 plus uh, lead code contest rating SG2 at Microsoft SW2, right? And in the past year or six months or so, I had received more than 10 job offers of 35 LPA plus. And this is LPA as in not a CTC, right? So there is a lot of confusion among CTC and LPA. If you know the difference, this is straight for LPA, right? And overall, if you talk about coding problems since college, I have solved more than 3000 across different platforms like Lead Code, GFG, CodeChef, Code Forces, little bit. And my aim, aim is to kind of uh, guide people who were at my stage earlier, right? I was very confused. So that's the main aim and be there, right? I generally do live streams and whatnot. So feel free to look at other videos if you're new to the channel, right? So that's all to establish the credibility. Now moving back to my Uber uh, uh, interview, right? So this was a very extensive process and this was one of the company that I started interviewing with, right? Which was one of the mistake that I did. So I just wanted to highlight a lot of different things without revealing the exact questions and all so that uh, it can help, right? So that is the aim uh, of this video. So let's get started, right? So first thing that uh, I want to talk about is uh, the resume and application, right? So each section we can see there were seven rounds and I'm going to talk about one section at a time, right? And then also give you tips and tricks and mistakes that I made. So resume and application uh, apply directly, right? Uh, no referral. No referral. There are there were a lot of openings, right? And then I got a DSA link, right? Uh, OA link received. And then uh, one other thing that I followed Jake resume template. A video uploaded. So video is already uploaded on the channel around this, uh, which. Uh, resume template I followed one page a uh, one page resume it was right one page resume so straight things simple things nothing fancy uh, here right you just apply apply to tons of opening right it was like applied directly like maybe one of 10 Ubers opening job roles so like it was not like that okay I applied to one and got a got a link right so that is that rarely happens. Uh, cool. That once I got this, then the next thing um, is uh, OA, right? So four questions, uh, 70 minutes, right? And uh, two easy, one medium, and one hard, right? So this was the pattern around that two easy, one medium, and one hard. And um, I would say that you have to manage your time well. If you have solved so many lead code questions, this easy you will knock out of the park easily. And then medium, this is this might be implementation heavy. The logic might seem simple to you, but you are going to spend some time. So I was able to solve these three completely. And so my rating was out of like 3.5 out of 4, right? Or like 3.6, I think. Some of the test cases I were not able to solve of this one. So that's that's something. And I have given this OA twice. Uh, in one, I was able to solve all of these four. So that's about this. And uh, 
so oa so once you clear the oa you get a call for uh, on site loops so uh, this elimination round is what decides whether you will have these four rounds or not right these four rounds will be there if you clear this right doesn't matter so once you clear this if if you perform very bad at this one still you will have these three rounds right so that's that about the OA. now coming to the elimination round right so this was uh changing the color to black again this was uh 60 minutes and uh, on campus on campus so and then other than that uh the question was lead code hard right uh top around top interview questions top over questions top over questions and then um uh, yeah i was able to solve it in with ample amount of time left and a pretty relaxed round pretty relaxed but it is tensionful because it's elimination one right so you are kind of stressed in that so you have to manage that uh and then the next thing is your dsa round let's see if this color suits yeah this is okay so dsa round uh so once you clear this right so you'll have four rounds of on sites this is specifically for hd2 uh uber has also mentioned the process on their website that i came to know a little bit later so one should all also take a look at that also so uh dsa round uh 60 minutes again i would say this was again lead code hard right around graphs um and then uh backtracking but not right uh then um this was i was able to solve it uh, it took me around 40 to 45 minutes with dry run i was able to solve it so i passed this round also i would give myself rating of 10 out of 10 because it passed for all the use uh use cases right so so this uh, let's call this self rating this also 10 out of 10 probably 9.5 let's say uh, I was a little bit struggling due to the stress, but still self-rating. So that's that. And then, then came the LLD round. So this, this is one of the mistake, uh, mistake that I made here. So my DSA round, it ended like five minutes ago only. And then I got a call for LLD round that time only. So this was also on campus, right? So this is one of the mistake that I made, right? Uh, Tip, I would say ask for time in between interviews. Why I say this is because see DSA is uh, it it is whether a hit or a miss, right? So you either know the question or you don't know the question, right? There are chances around that. For example, let's say if something is based on try and you have never studied right. So it is not like that you are going to invent try in that round, right? That's a complete miss, right? So if I ask you a question based on try, or if I ask you a question based on, let's say sliding window, maybe sliding window, not a proper example, but a try is okay example. So that way, right? But in LLD, you can still do something. You can draw the class diagram and whatnot, right? So this was a LLD round and uh, it was again on campus. I was already, but I was so happy after doing this DSA round that I didn't thought about that, uh, this thing, right? And this was my first LLD, first LLD ever, right? And I was asked to design, design a class diagram of widely famous question. It's out there. If you study top 50 questions, it would be one of that, right? So I failed. I failed, I would say, uh, self rating is like, you can say four out of 10, right? Because I was, I got confused with the L diagram, right? And uh, the relationships and whatnot. Didn't know how to tackle it. So made a lot of mistakes and interviews not that helpful. Uh, okay, interview, um, not not that uh, helpful generally. You some, sometimes they, but you don't expect the interview to be helpful, right? So that's the mistake that I made. And I knew that my chances are lost, but still I won't still I got a call for HLD because these are loops, right? Anyway, you have to give the rounds. So 
couple of things uh, ask for time uh, probably two to three days you can get because the domain is completely different right in LLD you have to practice different things in DSA you have to practice different things so after this I was able to clear like six to seven LLD rounds so just to just wanted to highlight that as well right and then after that uh, HLD so this was like some project uh, five minutes uh, project specific questions uh, design questions like why event streaming stuff like that right so if you have worked on apis uh, asynchronization you know that why you need event streaming and why you don't need event streaming right if you have to decouple your system things like that and then i got a hld question around uber specific search thing that this question is not out there in anywhere right and even it was a very vague thing and the design expected was also vague so i did do the xcali and all that and designed it but a couple of components i feel when i self-reflected i missed like putting kafka or decoupling things right so that's why i would give seven out of ten again this was my first hld so that's one of the mistake that i did right so uh it was like one of interview drive part of a drive so that's how i gave this round but uh generally you it is good to ask for some time it. so coming to hm round uh, this was around for 30 40 minutes let's say and uh, behavior questions of some project slash resume questions easy whatever you have mentioned you have you need to explain it uh, so in detail you should know about whatever you have mentioned in your resume uh, always revise your resume stuff right that's a tip and um, then behavioral behavioral questions right uh, sorry for the spelling typo there uh four to five conflicts how to handle different different things right four to five questions and then uh other than that so self rating uh i would say this was pretty good 8.5 out of 10 right or close to nine so the main factor was this LID. If I would have performed eight to nine, then the chances would have been a little bit solid, but I all already knew that this is a lost cause, right? So this is the overall experience. Uh, composition, you can see on lead code, uh, how much Uber offers, right? It varies from what you currently make, but it can go above 60, uh, including the RSU component. Again, that's LPA per year, not just the, not just the, ctc ctc could be one crore plus also because the LPUs will be vested um across four years yeah this this video has become a little bit lengthy but i hope this helps straight away all facts nothing fancy here but if someone is going through this uh it would be helpful uh down the line i'll be sharing more resources as well but just to end video if someone is just jumping into this little bit about me this is who i am right and uh, uh please feel free to ask any questions and uh yep that's all i hope you guys make it i failed but uh, this video is probably for someone who is at my stage and i hope that they make it all the best guys thanks you